Danny Garcia was already, you know, who already, I mean, looks like, you know, he's good, he you know, had his life and things like that, so he like, ride off in the sunset and retire. Right now, he won't be bothered about it. So, um, I just feel like he's a lot hungrier than, you know, a lot of guys that I fought in my prime. Errol, you talk about this third chance at boxing and the eye injury. Can you go back to last year and the, the timeline there, how fortunate you guys were to catch it when you did, knowing what you knew about how serious that could have been? Um, I don't feel like I was that fortunate to catch it because, I mean, but I wanted to fight, so, I mean. But you could have gone blind. Yeah, in one eye. I got another eye, so. <laughs> so, you know, that was my whole thing about it. Yeah, when I had the patch on, you know, I seen good with my one eye, so. For me, I really just wanted to fight. Um, you know, I felt like it was a great opportunity for me. And, um, you know, it was kind of foolish too, but at the end of the day, you know, I feel like I'm a warrior and I'm a guy that, you know, puts it on the line. I'm a guy at that moment, you know, I'm grateful I didn't, but at that moment, like, I wanted to fight and, you know, training camp, just leading up to it, knowing that, you know, how great the champion, you know, Pacquiao, you know, was and still is and, you know, everything he's done, you know, he's a legendary, you know, fighter in the sport. So, you know, I wanted that opportunity and it, you know, just passed me by like that. So, you know, at the time I really wanted it, but, you know, it's a blessing that, you know, it didn't happen and, the doc didn't let me fight. <laughs> do, you feel like, do you feel like in a way you have like nine lives at this point? Uh, I don't know about nine lives. <laughs> I mean, they run out. So, <laughs> so um, I just feel like, you know, I'm extremely blessed. And, uh, you know, I feel like, you know, a lot of stuff, you know, things been in my favor. And, uh, and I persevered through them all. And uh, something always, you know, happened. And it you know, might, might delay me, but it never stops me. So. You know, just a blessing to be here, and um, you know, for me, this this is a win-win for me. You know, there's no way I can lose. Cause most people over there, you know, went through a car accident like I did. You know, to, to get thrown from a car and you know, basically get thrown 50 feet in the air, land on concrete, solid concrete, and you know, still be here to be able to talk and you know, and not not long just box and run and you know, not having lingering pains. In my body, you know that that says a lot. That you know, just a higher power. It wasn't myself. It was, it was something higher than myself that you know that made sure I was okay. EJ, he's a big welterweight, just like Kell Brook was. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen a guy this big in a long time. Yeah. What what challenges does Ugas pose, and what did you learn from the Pacquiao fight? Um, I mean, he's just a good fighter. I mean, I didn't really learn you know too much from the from the Pacquiao fight. But he's just a, a very good fighter. Um, I mean, as you know, you know, I, you know, I support a lot of big guys like Big A and things like that. So I'm not worried about him, you know, being, you know, a big guy, anything like that, you know. So um, I just feel like he's gonna be a great fight. He's gonna come to fight, and um, like I said, I'm gonna put on another great one-sided performance like I usually do. The fact that he only has 12 knockouts. Does that give you confidence? to take it inside with him? Uh, nah, it, it, that doesn't mean anything to me. I'm going to do whatever I need to do anyway. So, so I mean, it doesn't matter if he had 19 knockouts. I'm still going to follow my game plan and do what I've always been doing. So. Thank you so much for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV. And give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV, on Twitter, and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.